sweetheart. How are you doing today? You good? Okay, I won't push. I'm all right. I feel a little bit groggy if I'm totally honest. Um, I just, I can't shake this little cold that I've got. I just thought it'd be nice if we spent the day together. I didn't get up particularly early this morning. I've got a coffee on the go. I've got a hair mask in my hair, which is why it looks like that. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm gonna go to a coffee shop because it is tax season. So I need to sort out my taxes. And um, also I've got some work to do. So I'm gonna take my laptop, might take my journal as well, and do a little bit of journaling. It's still the first week of January when I'm filming this, so I'm just gonna try and ease myself back into being productive and getting things going. I finished my book last night. Where is it? Let me show you. I was reading this. It is Weirdo by Sarah Pascoe. I took the cover -y thing off because um, I hate reading with a cover on, um, and most of the time books are just so much prettier when they look like this. But I absolutely love Sarah Pascoe. She wrote um, Animal and then Money, Sex, Power, Sex, Money, Power. It, it's one of those variations, which kind of goes all into like the, um, like the evolution and like the societal bits of sex and power and money. It's really, really interesting. And the first time I read that, I actually, it was an audiobook and Sarah Pascoe narrates it herself. Um, so you get to like really hear how she meant for it to sound. And if there's one thing about me, it's that I love Sarah Pascoe. Like that woman can do no wrong in my eyes. I think she's just absolutely brilliant. So when I saw that she'd released a fiction book, I was like, yeah. I want to read that and I actually think that's the quickest I've ever gone through a book. It took me three days uh, and I'm very, very proud of myself because I am not a quick reader at all. I really enjoyed the book. It felt very frantic and very chaotic and there are parts in the book where you're just like, like everything inside of me just kind of like shriveled up because I was like, oh, this is cringe-worthy like the situations that the protagonist puts herself in. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I think for the last quarter of the book, I was kind of like, what? what is this actually about? And then on the last two pages, I was kind of like, oh, I get it. Oh no, yeah, I really did enjoy this book. And another thing about the book is like, it, it covers like Christmas and New Year in its timeline, um, which was quite nice because I got it for Christmas and, and I was reading it in the first week of January. So it was like, it, I don't know, it just felt like it lined up with my life. That was, that was really good. Um, I would recommend the book if you are in for a frantic, chaotic time of a girl just doing stuff. I'm also um, listening to The Hunger Games at the moment. I haven't read physically The Hunger Games book since I was probably about 16, probably. But like every year and a half or so, I re-listen to the audiobooks of The Hunger Games and I just love those books. I truly feel like I found a good trilogy in my teens and was like, this is it. These are the books I love for the rest of my life, which I'm not complaining about. I feel like so many people have that with Harry Potter uh, and I, I was just never a Harry Potter girly. So it, it does feel good to have a set of books that is really close to my heart. Also with Songbirds and Snakes coming out, um, that kind of like rekindled my whole love for the Hunger Games. So I, I watched the film, I then read the audiobook, and then I've gone back into the Hunger Games trilogy and then I'm gonna listen to Songbirds and Snakes again, just so I can like kind of bounce it all off each other. I have so many books, but there is just something so special about The Hunger Games. Candace is just a girl. She should never have been put in any of the positions that she was in, and I personally think she handled it very well. If I was Candace Everdeen, first day of the first Hunger Games, I'd be gone. Like, do you know what I mean? There is no chance that I would have got through any of it, let alone a second Hunger Games, and let alone being like the face of an uprising. It, it just, it, that's not on the cards for me. I wouldn't have been able to do it.
hydrate, feel great. Have me a very productive morning slash early afternoon. I did a lot for my taxes, um, which I feel really good about because I've just been dreading doing all of it. Like numbers of me just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Just wash that mask out of my hair. It's about three o'clock now. Um, I try and leave the coffee shop before three, um, just because the one I was at, um, I think it closes at four and I don't ever want to be that customer that's in there like right up until close because I've been a barista. I don't, I don't want to be that customer. And also coming home, getting washed up um, and stuff was just, it's just a nice way to split up the day. Like I feel fresh and I feel good. Um, I need to go out and get dinner stuff. So I'll take you with me to do that. Alex is out tonight. So I have the flat all to myself. So I've got a little bit of work to do, like uh, some content planning, but then the rest of the night is just going to be reading my book, doing some journaling, cooking myself some dinner and just having a nice low key, soft evening because i think i've i think i've kind of reached that point in my life where i don't really want to be going out and on the razz all the time i just want a quiet slow life where i feel like i'm plodding along but like i'm plodding along and making progress with myself because all i really want at the moment is growth um stability it would be nice also but stability and growth that's kind of it's kind of all i really want health wealth happiness success stability and growth those are the things i am um, manifesting and working towards bringing closer to me. <coughs> God, cannot stop coughing though. Health, I really want health. I want to stop coughing all the time. I'm so sick of this cold. <laughs> what a time to be alive! That was such a nice trip to town. Um, I bumped into my best friend Hope. Um, and also my friend Emily. You obviously saw Emily, but um, you didn't see Hope because she was with someone that I don't know. And I'm not gonna stick a camera in the face of someone I don't know. Because all of my friends know that a caveat of being friends with me is that a camera will be slung in your face at some point. However, if you're not my friend, I'm probably not gonna do it to you because it would make me feel uncomfortable. And probably you feel uncomfortable. I picked up my shopping in my Love On Tour canvas bag. I love this bag so much. I've got this nice panel down the side so it means you can actually fit stuff in it. Good sturdy straps. It was 25 pounds for a tote bag, which I do agree is ridiculous, but I got it from obviously Love On Tour. Um, so I'm paying for Harry Styles dinner in a way. Do you know what I mean? I'm fine with that. So since Alex is away tonight, I thought I'd give myself a little, little meaty dinner because I don't do that often because obviously all the dinners that I eat are vegan so that we can just cook one meal and it just, just for the sake of it being easy. So I got some chicken Kievs. These are frozen and there's two of them in there so I'll just pop one back in the freezer um, just for the next time that he's away. I got myself some black olives because I've got some crisps in the cupboard. Um, so I do like a little, little snacky bit. Got a little pouch of vegetables because I thought greenery is good and I've also got um some chips in the freezer like some really chunky chips and I'll make some gravy up um and just do like a a nice wholesome dinner I also picked up this it's um roast potato seasoning I thought that might be nice on chips um but failing that it will be nice on roast potatoes because I love making roast potatoes and then a rogue thing to have bought was a uh, katsu chicken poke bowl I would never have bought this normally uh, it was a nice little yellow sticker deal and 275 and i can just pop it in the fridge and that'll be my lunch tomorrow so i thought that was that was a no-brainer really yeah i'm gonna pop the oven on now and start getting cooking um because i don't have to eat straight away i just kind of want to get it cooked so it's ready 
It's quarter to six. No, I'm not making dinner yet. What am I on about? I'm gonna have some olives and some crispies and maybe in an hour I'll start thinking about dinner. Thank mm -hmm. you.